Hey everybody, Beta here, another Stoneface Reactions. Back with our uh, Nadia, the secret of blue water. Oh, uh, let's see. What do we have? Last time was labeled as a filler episode. It was just a bunch of, uh, you know, island shenanigans. I guess maybe it was a filler because of the cartoony bits with Nadia not being able to open a can and doing all cartoonish frazzle and exaggerated gene. But then again, we still kept up with the moments just after the, um... Captain's Cabin, I guess you can call it? Captain's Cabin got jettisoned and what happened to it. So, I mean, it fits narratively where it should be in the show. And again, with the adorable, um, Marie book thing. Like I said, child hieroglyphic, hieroglyphics, if you will. That, was, that made it all worthwhile. You know, this is Jean and Nadia's relationship to one another. They do this when this happens. I love them. Uh, I love Nadia. I love Jean. Jean is Nadia's husband. King is my husband. He acts older than he should. But there was weird bits in there. I'm not going to argue that. ナディアの我がままは留まるところを知りません。人の迷惑も帰り見ず、ナディアは朝早くからジャンたちを引っ張り出し、100 so, if this didn't come out in 1989, then that would make no sense, right? Right? Or is the narrator 100 years in the future? If the narrator is not a character, and the narrator is just the narrator, then... Okay. Can't have the first kiss on the filler episode, I guess. Said any time where I wanted, I didn't want onions in the food. Also, how do you know what fish tastes like? You don't eat fish, how do you know what it tastes like? I mean, the omission of a fact is still kind of a lie. でも人間だけじゃなくて、世の中のほとんどの生き物はそうやって生きてるんだよ。そんなの嘘よ。嘘じゃないよ。本当だよ。科学がそれを証明してるんだ。I mean, if you don't think other animals eat other animals, then you're lying to yourself. I don't influence the kid. God, who's paying for these episodes, right? I don't know why, but it's always... Do you know what an omelette comes from, right? Yeah, thank you. You know where an omelette comes from, right? 
かしいぞ卵は平気なんだそうよ卵っていうのは生き物の鳥の卵だよその通りよ生き物が生まれる前の状態を卵と言って卵は卵よ生き物じゃないわえ食べないなら食べちゃうよ食べちゃダメだこれはナディアの分なんだからナディアが食べなきゃいけないんだでも Oh God, Nadia. Nani mo iranai. Honto da ne. Honto ni nani mo iranai da ne. Honto yo. Taberu mo no ya nomu mo no nante nakute mo. Ningen one week ya two week ya ikite ikeru wa. Ja, mizu mo iranai da ne. Iranai wa. Mari tabe chatta. Ato de naki goto itta te. Zettai kite yan nai kara na. Kika nakute mo kekkou yo. So I guess. Tai wa nai mo no. Honto ni jippa. I guess we're clearly not siding with Nadia then. Now that she's been hypocritical about this. Now that she's been hypocritical and said clearly nonsensical statements. Is King praying to a face tree? Do they make jerky? Don't be mean to mean. You can't say the two words together. Don't be mean to Marie. Seriously, we, you're praying for the heat to go away? I'm not even sure. Honestly, just don't know what the point is beyond stubbornness. Okay, we're back. Didn't we only have one bullet left before? Oh, come on! I wanted to see what these guys were doing! Gets it first. That's right. That's the way you do it. <laughs> That's called darling. I was hoping for like a daddy or something like that. Be worse in that context, but you know, I'm hoping more like a family unit and she's the daughter. I just don't foresee where we're going to get a first kiss out of this episode. Not unless it's like she passes out and we do mouth to mouth. And we're doing this like old school children's first kiss. Oh. 
To be fair, the speed of the animation of your sweating, you're losing a lot more water than you're taking in. Better not destroy their water source out of frustration. And she's gonna eat the rotten food. And get sick. You don't even have the tree there anymore, King. <laughs> you got delusional? I'm not going to say a word. Not a word about this. I assume she didn't throw a fit because she's starting to get broken down. So he's praying for water then. Okay, so clearly she's getting sick, but thought occurs to me. I live nearish the beach, like maybe miles away, but still close. It rains sometimes, and the water tastes like salt. So obviously the... So it's obviously getting into the rainwater. And they're on an island. So I can't help but think you'd still want to boil that f uh, water. Well, don't, like, tell her you'll be sick if you eat this. Okay, so you were the other guy. Sorry, just the layout there, and the fact that we're watching Gundam. I can hear a wadi wadi wa. それが宇宙の追っ手である。私は京都に行きを根も記念日とし、この喜びを永遠に歴史に残すものとする。Whatever that is. So old Atlantean tech from twelve thousand years ago, I'm gonna guess. Same way that they had the satellite in orbit.
Wow. I guess this is important information to know because you want to know how much water she's losing. I guess honestly, though, I don't I think I've said this many times before. I just don't get people, which makes it harder to get people who are animated. Oh, man, that fucked with my eyes. Whatever the fuck that was. Oh, come on, Marie. Also, the worry here is that their structure is made of metal. I mean, so on one hand, this is sad. On the other hand, this isn't actually that bad considering who these people are. I mean, if the animal hurt her, it's a fucking elephant really easy to kill a child. Still, an elephant has to be a huge investment from a, like, a circus guy in France. And he still chooses to keep the little orphan kid? He's choosing the kid over money? And giving the elephant a painless death? God, she's too good fucking adorable. This is where the daddy get used. On one hand, that would be somewhat annoying. On the other hand, she's going delirious and needs water. Okay, I guess I'm taking that back. Why does he have fangs? What should fucking do? You've got a whip on me. Oh, what a way to fuck someone up. Even I was falling for a shit with the elephant shit before. There's no chance he would have been able to whip her from all the way down there, but still. Wow, what happened here? The scene animated by the animators 20 years before the show was made. What's he going for? Mushrooms? I really feel like he should have used the word torch. I think that fits better from where he's from. Yep, mushrooms. I think torch fits better for where he's from, and it wouldn't feel so ac anachronistic. That he could mean torch as in flashlight, or he could mean torch as in torch. Actual torch. 
Oh, man, we're going on a trip. Don't go in there, Marie. This isn't for you. Don't do it, Marie. I half expect to find out that these mushrooms are covering a dead body or something. Is this why it's going to be the first kiss? Because he's just so fucking out of it that he's just going to kiss Nadia for some reason? See, it's the weird thing. You think after all the shit that she's been giving him about bad people eat meat, she'd be pulling some sort of people are made of meat, don't be ma bad like him. We're just doing a sudden jerk into, oh, thank you, Jean, for trying to save me. の中に一人で生きていけるって昔からずっと信じてたし今まで生きてくるのに誰の力も借りたりしなかったって信じてたの昔の話は難しいでも誰もいないこの島で生活してきて初めて分かったの I think that's just one of the odd things about this show. Is that I feel like sometimes the characters learn the same lesson multiple times. Does that make sense? I feel like Nadia has learned not to be alone. Like four to three to four times now. Jealous King? Oh, and off screen too! But why? I mean, I get why, but I'm not that dense. I, I don't, I do understand people that much. Why this episode? That felt like out of nowhere. Especially when I feel like this is the third time she's learned this lesson. It was like this time was the only time where she wasn't distracted by like being. Jealous of Electra, or they could have easily shoehorned in one more. This is what meat eating gets you, but they chose not to so that she could kiss him because she had a bad dream earlier from being delirious from being sick. I guess I don't know. I, I mean, I should be happy that our main character is becoming like a main couple, right? That's that's nice. It just feels weird. It just feels weird because I feel like it either should have happened before now on many of the times that Jean has pulled through for Nadia and this isn't even the first time he's been in danger getting shit from a cave to save Nadia's life from a sickness. 
This is just the second time that's happened. It's crazy. Huh, maybe that's why this is following up a, a filler episode. Hell, if my recollection is correct, next episode's another filler episode. So we're gonna go from weird, delusional, stranded bit to annoying stranded bit, where we've had our first kiss, to back to annoying stranded bit? Or nonsensical? And the fact that we saw those three standing on top of the... Well, I guess the half-floating tank, because obviously it's not all the way floating, it's not always sunk. At least they're still alive. At least they're still alive. Again, after the, um... After Nemo got shot <laughs> at least once, and, uh, what's his name? The the Flowers guy got killed? And the Discovery Marie's parents? I just don't know what the rules are about who can be killed in this show and who can't be. The fact is that we're so far back in the era. And the fact that it's a Japanese anime, right? I'm going to say we're so far back. They were killing people in cartoons. American cartoons early on enough. Because the rules just hadn't been written. And the the pacing of shows just wasn't uh, laid out yet. I don't know what the rules are when we started forming them for Japanese anime. About who can die and when. Especially with the, what the themes are. I don't know. I don't know. My worry is up here. And yet, we're in the filler. And we're in the cartoony episodes. And I... If the episode wasn't named First Kiss, I would not have even... I would have not been guessing right up until the end that a First Kiss was coming. Uh, I guess until next episode, I've been Theta. This has been Stoneface Reactions. I will catch you next time. Bye bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy? <laughs> <laughs>